Have you heard of circadian rhythms or body clocks? Have you ever felt like yours is messed up and it's affecting your sleep, your stress levels, and everything else? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can fix your circadian rhythm. This is The Dr. K Show. I'm Dr. Karthik Ramanan. I help ambitious individuals end self-criticism with tools and strategies to create optimal everyday mental health. If you're new here and you need to silence that negative voice in your head to get out of your own way, well, I'm here for you. I encourage you to subscribe right now. It's showtime. Our circadian rhythm or body clock is present in humans and other organisms, animals, plants, fungi, even some bacteria. These rhythms are generated within the living being, but are greatly influenced by outside forces, including sunlight and temperature. They influence hormone levels, brain activity, cell regeneration, and so much more. Unfortunately, in our modern world of blue lights and screens, artificial lights, and constant eating patterns, we have created an environment for ourselves that pulls us away from our circadian rhythm, and doing so is associated with various chronic diseases and negative states of mental health. Before we go into this, I want you to understand the importance of melatonin and cortisol. You can think of melatonin as your stay asleep hormone, and cortisol is one of your alertness and stress hormones. Now, if you're thinking melatonin, stay asleep, I want that to be high at night and then drop in the morning. And cortisol, stress, alertness, I want that to be higher during the day and drop toward the evening. If you're thinking that, you'd be right. Unfortunately, we've created an environment where that doesn't always hold true. So how do we fix it? First, fix your light exposure. Did you know that we have a protein called melanopsin that senses blue light? and it's responsible for essentially synchronizing the brain clock. When melanopsin in our eye is exposed to bright daylight, which is largely blue light, we become more alert, energized. Depression is reduced. What's interesting about melanopsin is that it's not as sensitive to orange light, only blue light. So when melanopsin is exposed to orange light, it's as if it's dark outside, but what do we typically experience? Well, we're indoors during much of the day and exposed to blue screens at night. This is the exact opposite of how we're wired. So it's no wonder why our body clock is offset and struggles to adequately reset. To fix your light exposure, spend some time outside as soon as you wake up. Take in the sun and spend more time outside during the day. Go for a quick five minute walk during a lunch break, sit near a window if possible. And I know that's not always possible, I get it. Uh, when I worked on Wall Street for a few years there, I had a desk that was on the interior of the building and I had no idea whether it was 8 a.m. or 9 p.m. It messed with my brain and my health, but I also never made it a priority to expose myself to sunlight as much as I could during the day. Like everything, if it's important to you, you will find a way to do it. Power tip. Going for a walk or a jog or a run outside in the morning will further enhance this circadian resetting effect. Are you getting value out of this so far? If you are, smash that like button right now. Next, fix your food schedule. We also have daily rhythms in our metabolism and our gut microbiome, in fact. We are constantly in a fed state in our society these days. That's to say, it's rare that we're not actively digesting food during our awake hours. Intermittent fasting is a simple way to take that same caloric value of food while still resetting the circadian clock, feeling more energized during the day, sleeping better at night, and even losing weight too. An easy way to start is to ensure that your first meal of the day and your last meal of the day fall within a 12 hour window. As you move forward and you get better at it, you can try tightening that window. Also, don't eat within three hours of bedtime. Bonus tip, get your diurnal cortisol tested. When you do, your doctor will be able to see where your cortisol levels are throughout the day and make adjustments to your supplements as needed to give you a further boost in the right direction. Question of the day, what's one way that you are committed to resetting your circadian clock? If you feel like being awesome, let me know in the comments below.
Today's progress success is brought to you by Jake Krakowski. He shared with me that he realized, quote, no matter the stage or the season that we're in, we all share the same human fears and concerns. Imposter syndrome and the Dunning-Kruger effect are things to be acknowledged, managed, and discussed. Basically, as long as we're in this entrepreneurship game. Thanks for sharing, Jake. And even if we're not in the entrepreneurship game, your words ring true. Awesome progress. I don't have enough time. I can't tell you how long these words haunted me. And if you're an ambitious individual, you might not feel like you have enough time either. Enough time to work on your dreams, enough time to spend with your loved ones, enough time to improve yourself. I get it. Let's remember something though. The 24 hour clock, the concept of hours, minutes, seconds, weeks, months. These are all human created concepts of time. Time in its absolute discrete form does not exist in nature. Rather, organisms like us humans run on rhythms, circadian rhythms, or your body clock, menstrual cycles, seasonal rhythms. These are not absolute forms of time, but they absolutely govern our life and the lives of every living being. For those of you like me who live by the calendar, who hate to be even a minute late to a meeting, who constantly feel there aren't enough hours in the day, what if instead of stressing ourselves out living like that, we instead chose to live by a different construct of time? What if we decided in this moment that we are not going to say, I don't have the time, and instead focused on what am I going to do with the time that I do have? Ever tried to work out when your body wasn't awake? Ever tried to write when you were feeling anxious? Ever tried to sleep when your body was too alert? These are examples of us trying so desperately hard to live by our construct of time when our body clock and rhythms are influencing us to do otherwise. What if instead we figured out how to take this moment where we are in our rhythms, our cycles, our clocks, and choose a task that best is suited to our present state? Can we live entirely that way as an ambitious, goal-oriented individual? Realistically, probably not, but I guarantee that if we are focused on normalizing and resetting our circadian rhythm with appropriate blue light and orange light exposure, intermittent fasting, and structuring a more fluid calendar around our present state, we would accomplish a whole lot more. And we'd be less anxious, less depressed, and more resilient. Your health deserves it, your brain deserves it, you deserve it. I believe in your greatness.